is The Light Show. Tour Custom Cycle Shop. Right here we got our buddy's bike, Willie's. Mike just finished installing this bar light setup on the front. It looks awesome. I wanted to see this thing in person. I've yet to see one in person. I've seen it in videos, on pictures, obviously all over Instagram, but in person, let me tell you, it looks better. Um, it looks awesome. I, I still didn't turn it on yet. I kind of want to give you guys my first impressions on it. Um, but it looks really good. So kind of wanted to give you guys my take on it. Let you know what I think about the bike, the looks and everything. Obviously, visibility is going to be through the roof with this bike. God damn it. These, these, these lights are awesome. Bike! What is the name, the proper name for this light setup? The Roadglide Baja On 6. Oh, there we go. On X6. That's that's the proper name for it. I love these lights right here on the side as well. Um, they have the squadrons. The squadrons, it kind of fills in that that, that empty panel right there. Um, that, with, without this, it kind of just looks a little weird, but, but that, that pod looks really good there. Then obviously we have the S1s on the side. So let's just turn it on, show you guys what it looks like. It looks awesome. So let's just do the honors and bomb. Wow, that's, that's bright. That's bright. That's it's a little bit too bright. So th this this is the light show. It looks really awesome, guys. It looks really, really good. Got that relay clicking like an 82 Oldsmobile. How do you do that? I want mics to sound like that. Where'd you come from? <laughs> Am I even in frame? You are. Um, really quick, I just wanted to go over the install real quick. Install process. <coughs> yep. Because um, I know you installed this. How long did it take? Was it easy? Was it not? Is there anything you didn't like about it? Like As always, with <laughs> install was a breeze. Nice. This took me with no directions, because the directions aren't available yet online. Hour, 15 minutes maybe? Really? So, same, same as your setup. You run the harness, you run the harness back to the battery, mm -hmm. and then up front, they have, um, then it just wires in, just like your headlights do. But they give you these two accessory ports off of the main harness. One powered up the S1s, one powered up the squadrons. Oh, that makes it much easier. All plug and play. And it's plug and play? Yep, mm -hmm. everything is plug and play. I like that. I like that a lot. So, cool. Yeah, no, that hour 15 minute install is simple. And then lastly, what, what, what do you think about the whole look of it? I like the look. Um, there's one thing I don't like. It's not having to do with the lights. When you add the squadrons, you do need to take your vents out. So now from the rider side of the bike, there's like gaping holes you can see right into the fairing. Oh, okay, okay. So I pulled. Gotcha. From there's the back, a couple, right. Yeah, there's a couple companies. It just won't fit on it? These go right where the vents go. Oh. So we had to pull the vents. Um, <clears throat> the, there are a couple companies that make blank, blank uh, mm -hmm. plastic pieces that can go in there if, well, he, if he wants. That's a good feedback. I'm pretty sure that they yeah. could probably come up with their own panels later on. Yeah, but I know of companies that have them. So. Yeah. I mean, it looks awesome, man. It, yeah. it looks really good. I'm really happy that he went with the yellow, with the amber and the white. So I talked to them and he wanted to go with an all white setup with amber squadrons and I talked to them and they explained why it's set up like this. Why? So this amber uh, bar here mm -hmm. is a wide angle light. So that's going to give you your width. This bar is a oh, narrow far beam. Interesting. So you're I getting, yeah, so you're getting the wide beam from the yellow and you're getting straight from the white. 
That's awesome. I so know. he's got both, and then and then he's got yellows on the outside corner. So he's getting wide beam here, and he's getting straight beam here. Sweet. Okay. So Let's that's see. that's what they told me when I called him up, and that's why we went with this combo, color combo. Sick. But the brackets were like, brackets are great. These bolt right up. Comes with little side brackets. These bolt right up. Everything is freaking solid. Yeah. You know? It looks good, man. I, I honestly. I, I didn't know what to think of it when I was going to see it in person, but now as I see it, and obviously when we turned it on, it looks awesome. Um, I do want to see it at nighttime. That, that's what I really Yeah, we haven't seen it at night yet. Yeah, maybe we'll pull a little night ride when he sees some food. Do that. Um, this bike in particular has a lot going on besides the front of the lights. It's a, a lot of uh, engine work that Mike just finished doing as well. Just a, a lot of stuff. So once the bike is fully done, I kind of want to do a walkthrough review of the whole bike. Everything was done here at Tour Custom Cycles. So if you are in the local area, you want to get some lights installed, you want to get some engine work done, anything, stop by, stop by, hit Mike up, give him a call on the phone to be able to help you guys. Custom nice powder. and easy. Custom powder coated as well. So you'll, you'll get that here at the shop too. Anything and everything, one-stop shop, that's it. If you want to see more videos like this, tune in. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell button to so notify you anytime I upload a type of videos. Make sure to share this and with your friends and send it out there. Anything for me? No. Oh, we got matching shirts today, man. Oh, oh, oh we got the old stuff. This is, these, these are the old shirts. Okay, well, you know. Like always, let the horse with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Enjoy the brightness.